these can kind of open wherever, they're not locked in position. And so we're gonna to need to make sure this is at least turned enough so that when the release comes down, it's got a clear shot at this. We are going to a series of stations. This fjord will be the site of salmon farming pens uh, in about six months or so. And so what we're doing is capturing water samples at three different depths at five different locations so that we can measure the effect of salmon farming on a fjord. We're in. Alright, 20 meters, station one. So right now I'm using the Sond uh, probe. Basically what it does is it reads a bunch of levels in water, so turbidity, pH, uh, salinity, stuff like that. And we're basically getting all those readings in the fjord to see if the salmon pens and stuff are going to be sustainable and habitable within the fjord. Since we're working with DNA, it's very sensitive to the DNA on your hands and DNA in other samples. So double gloves, extra safe. So we're filtering each sample. This will collect the DNA from the water. So this is the really important piece. And now we're setting up to start doing the actual DNA extraction. So it'll go through a series of steps of different buffers and getting centrifuged and transferred to different tubes and new buffers and get, getting centrifuged and so on. Eventually we'll be able to it, like directly extract the DNA with our sequencer, which is really exciting. So we're getting to the real like meat of the like lab biology part of this project. Mm -hmm.